Should have probably taken. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of close. Cool. So I should have probably taken a bulletproof with uh, bulletproof vest with me. Oh, that was really close. Run, my friend. Hey everybody, welcome back. Falcon, this war of mine. Let's get the game going on over here. What do we have going today? Very hungry, Katya. Alrighty. Let me have you collect this um, moonshine that's right here. Where's Bruno at? You're going to probably have to cook quite a bit right now, Bruno, because a lot of people are starving. You run up there. Let's see, Zada, you're hungry. Lada, Zlada, whatever. Hungry, you're sad, and you're tired. So let me have you take a rest here, number one, really quickly. Where is your boy, Pavel? Very hungry and sad. He's no longer tired, which is good. Zlada, I do believe I just said take a nap. Alrighty. Katya, you're gonna be the next one. Um, let's have you... You're very hungry and also tired. Let's have you take the first nap right now. I'll feed you afterward. Bruno, let's see. You're up here now. Good. You're very hungry, so let's make some meals right now. Uh-oh. Don't have the veggies for that. That could be a problem. Let me see if my... Vegetable garden has boar fruit. Not yet. That's gonna be a problem. So 11 degrees, that's also a problem because we need to keep over 20 if we want to keep ourselves uh, nice and warm. Now, mind you, I could be wrong. I thought I upgraded one of these bad boys, though, didn't I? <clears throat> or we're going to upgrade after we got the upgrades. I think it was after we got the upgrades, which we do have them now. So you know what? Let's actually go ahead and upgrade this bad boy right now since we have a chance. And then Bruno, we'll have you cook really soon. I guess since we have no vegetables, we're going to probably have to more than likely have you do the single meals for now. And more importantly, we might have to actually even use some canned food just to feed everybody else right now. We can make some moonshine, but I'm not entirely sure if I want to do that just yet because we do need some of this water to actually make some of these meals. But we do have some filters, so we might as well get one of the filters up and running. Apologize for my throat clearing here. First day of recording in a few days, I took the weekend off, so I kind of have to get back to the whole let's play type of thing here. So we have the upgrade to at least one of them now, which is good. So now that we've done that, let's actually... Oh, dude, we lost the fire that was there? <laughs> yeah, we did. We dropped from 11 out of 6, so that was a wasted... Um, oops, someone's at the door. Is that Franco? It's totally Franco. Alrighty, you know what? Gotcha. I have to feed you later. Right now, we have to kind of have you deal with Franco. So is anybody else tired? Not really. You're just very hungry. So before we have you cook, let's see if maybe Franco has a few vegetables for your um, trading. If he doesn't, hey, we could kind of take advantage of that part right there. I think the other thing we need to do is also make some cigarettes, which we do have the option to do so. Let me just have um, Pavel get over here and make some. Because again, we're trying to make some cigarettes for the training with the military outpost, but at the same time, if we could trade some with Franco, might as well just kind of use it for that point. Mind you, it's probably not the number one trade value with Franco at this point, but hey, whatever, man. We're just trying to survive, and we're doing pretty good. We have a lot of good items at the same time, so, you know, I'm not, I might not be min-maxing the game as some people want me to, but... You know, what I'm doing is actually working for me, so I can't really complain. Now, let's see, Franco, you have two bandages, you have three canned food, you have eight cigarettes, um... Alrighty. You don't have any vegetables, which is a problem. It was not really a problem, but I was hoping you would. You have another filter, you have some bullets, some moonshine. Well, honestly, you want to get all the components off of this man. <clears throat> Without a doubt, right? Because we need these to actually make more weapons and upgrade some of the workshops and things of that nature. I think the other thing we want to upgrade is actually the... the stove, if I'm right. So let's see here. First and foremost, I'm gonna get all of these off of you. That's gonna probably cost us a little bit, a little penny or so, but it's gonna be worth it in the long run. So let's see, what can I have here to trade with this man that he would be complying about? <clears throat> we do have a lot of bandages, and you know what? They won't do try harder. I feel that if we trade one of these bandages off, we could probably get most of these components off of them. As a matter of fact, we could probably even get this one too. Now, one bandage won't do it, understandable. And you're, if you're probably wondering why you're training the bandages for components, well, because we have seven of them, number one. And number two, I'm trying to plan it without, like, much risk to our survivors right now, so I don't expect to get hurt. I mean, knock on wood, right? And we need these to make the cigarettes as well, so let's not use the tobacco just yet. If we can get this trade off with only a bandage and, like, some other minimal item, we should be okay. Mind you, one of my crowbars is about to break. I would love to trade the crowbar that's about to break down, but... I'm not entirely sure which one it is. I'm not sure if it's going to give them the one that's actually in good condition or the one that's about to break, so... Hmm. I don't want to trade the moonshine just yet because I'm trying to save that for the military outpost as well. So, what if I... Well, let's see what he'll say to you. Let's see what he'll say yes to first and foremost. So, this... Oh, we could have a deal with only one tobacco? That's actually pretty good then, you know what? One tobacco and bandages for all these component parts? I think that works out pretty well for us, so... 
Let's see if this is the max value we can get, though. So what if I remove some of that and I wanted this filter in case? We could still have a deal that way. Now, mind you, the components are a little bit more important right now. for Especially for upgrading purposes. But what if I wanted some of these? <clears throat> it won't do try harder. So yeah, we're almost at that max value right now. So that is good to know. So you know what? Give me the components then. And we'll have a deal this way. Excellent. Anything else? Yeah, we'll probably have something else for you in a second. Just give me a minute here. Now, you'll probably start... I don't mind sacrificing six components to make all of these cigarettes that we're about to make right now. Mine is going to take you a while to make all of these, so... You're also hungry, but you're not tired, which is the good thing here. So, you know what? You'll probably just... Um, five hours is a lot of time. Let's have you make some of these for now. Now, you need to cook soon. So let me have Kacha come in here one more time. What do we need to cook? I said I need the vegetables, which we're not going to probably get. So let's pretty much erase that from my memory right now. No vegetables, so we are looking at one single meal upgrades. However, give me a second here, my friend. I'll talk to you soon. Don't worry, Frank. We'll just hang out there for a second, have a cigarette. Zlata's up and running now. We can get the upgrade now to this. It's going to require the rest of the wood that we have and the components, but that's fine. I think that'll work out. So you know what? Let's make the improved stove as well. This will help us um, use less water and fuel to cook, if I'm right, so that could help us out in the long run. It's getting cold, so you are just hungry and sad. Come and light this fire up a bit more so we can get up to at least over 20. <clears throat> and you know what? Maybe one more will probably do it. As soon as the stove is up and running, I want to see about this cooking here. Alrighty, so we have the stove upgraded now. Now, in terms of the water, it's going to require one less fire and one less wood, which is good. However, we still can't make the, veg the cooked food because we are actually missing vegetables, which is something that I already stated. So we're going to probably have to use some of these right here. So we have two people that are very hungry, so let's make two meals at least. Very hungry, hungry, very hungry. So we need three meals, as a matter of fact. So one of you guys might either have to have a canned food or I'll cook something else up for you. So now that we've done that, <clears throat> we're going to need these guys and probably even the wood so let me drop the wood in here number one and let's see what he's interested in giving us or let's see what he's interested in we could give him for this wood I don't necessarily want to do this one but I might it's very generous of me alrighty so what if I drop this I, I don't mind dropping another bandage in here because again we have a few extra ones we even have extra food that we could trade off if I really wanted to so what if we did this what if I got the water off of you it's still very very generous alright good to know and I wonder if I could get that food off him. The filter would be good too. That would save us a few components, by the way. That would be like, what, three components right there that we could save by not making the filter ourselves? Alrighty. I want those component parts or these parts over here too. It won't do try harder. So at this point he's saying, fuck me. So what if I reduce this by two? Oh. So you just want one component part for water, the wood, and the filter for one bandage? You know what? I'll do it. <clears throat> so, I'm happy with that one for the most part. Now, you have your meal now. You are... We're almost over 20. Let's have you stoke the fire one more time. That should put us over 20. You come over here. Oh, you didn't even have to eat right now. Uh, you know what? Relax, right, Franco? I'm giving you some really good deals here. Who else is going to give you this much trading as much as I am? So, relax here. Let me just have some food with um, Kacha number one. And then I'll come back to you right now. So, just hold off there. Don't fucking go anywhere, you motherfucker. Alright, so now you're... Hungry, or you're just hungry. No longer very hungry. Pavel, let's have you come over here. Said Pavel. You come over here. Zlata, you're done, so let's have you finish up what Pavel was working on over here. Anybody else tired? Katya is. So Katya's gonna probably go into this night very tired, which is unfortunate, but... It's still worth it, I think. Let's have you drop this extra filter in here. We can make some more moonshine with Bruno if I wanted to. You're just very hungry. <clears throat> I'm going to have Pavel just go ahead and have a canned food. Just because we have 12 of it anyway. You don't go too far from here, my friend. You might have to more than likely make some moonshine. Oh, we don't have the fuel for it anymore. That could be a problem. So, you come over here. Don't close the door on him. Do you have any fuel, by the way, Franco? You do not. That's quite a concern. Alrighty. So now what I need from him is these parts here more than likely. We're also going to probably want the rest of this wood for fuel purposes. And let's see... I could see myself grabbing these weapon parts, but at the same time, I might just pass up on it. But remember, the weapon parts are used to make lockpicks and to make, like, hatchets and crowbars. Things that we'll need in the future, for sure. So what if I jump this in here, right? And what if I wanted to offer you, my friend, a canned food? It won't do try harder. So a little bit more will probably get you... 
in our side here. So what if I did that and... Hmm. What don't I feel that I do need? Mind you, we have two shotguns. Uh, you know, the bullets could be pretty good now to defend our base as well. Oh, you know what I just realized? One second here. One moment. One moment. Let me have you come over here really quickly, Pavel, since you're just standing around. I don't think I got the reinforced door, did I? No, I didn't. I absolutely did not. That's what I wanted to get, number one, the reinforced door. So I think I upgraded the stove instead of getting this, which is, this is what I wanted to get first before the stove, but I completely forgot that I had, that I hadn't gotten this before. I also didn't get the guitar, because we need a few more component parts for it. Um, so the guitar and the reinforced doors, what do we need for this? More components and... Well, we have the wood for at least the reinforced door and not enough for the guitar. So it's one or the other. I'm going to probably go for the reinforced door first and foremost then. But we actually don't have any of the components needed to upgrade it. So regardless of which, we're kind of fucked. We're going to have to go and probably do another trade to get more components and then more wood. So I guess what we can do right now is actually make the guitar with the extra parts. Mind you, we're not going to get the... The reinforced door, which I was really hoping to get, so that was my bad on that one. I think we only need probably one more of these, right, I said, to make this happen. Let me take a perusal here one more time. So for this, we need two. Two of these, and then we need two over here. So we're looking at at least four. So we need three more of the parts to make this and this happen. Mind you, having a few extra parts wouldn't be bad if we want to agree with something else in the future. But for now, we just need these two. So three more, compo uh, three more parts is what we need. And then we're going to need more wood, obviously, to make both of these happen. In terms of the electrical parts, we're fine, though. Alrighty, so... We need three at the very least. Are you guys done over here, by the way, Pavel? Uh, nothing that needs to be picked up from the traps? Not really. Okay, so... Let's see here. You... I need three of these. At the very least. So let me get three off of you. Let me get the rest of the wood. Let me get the weapon parts. I'm down to give you one can of food is what I did say I'm down to do. Oh, this won't do. Wow, look at this guy. Food isn't enough for him anymore. Alrighty. So you're probably not too far off from saying yes, though. However, here's the thing. What do I want to give you? I don't want to give you the moonshine for this. It seems kind of silly. Although it's very generous of me, so I could probably grab a few extra items off of him for doing that. So what if I... Hmm. He's going to say no to this, but let me try it out. It won't do try harder, as expected. Uh, let's see here. What if I grab some more of these cigarettes off of you? I wouldn't mind even the lockpick, honestly. Bullets wouldn't be that bad, especially for our defense now. So you know what? Let me grab the rest of these bullets off of you. I probably could get a better value from the bullets from the military outpost with the moonshine, but, you know. Whatever, I could always make more moonshine, I guess. So, let's see. What if I grab those bullets and then... I just need to give you something kind of small to make this happen. You know what? What if I remove this and I give you the herbal medicine? It won't do try harder. So let me hold on to extra food. I'll give you the herbal medicine. And you know what? If you could say yeah with just a bean or two? Two beans. That's fine. You know what? Kachi, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to give you give away two cups of coffee from you. But at least we'll get the rest of the things that we do need here. So let's make this deal happen. And we're fine now. So, nope. I said we're fine. So just X out of there. You're not going to get enough sleep in time. So... If I can, let me just have you rush to a bed. Doesn't really matter, you're gonna be very tired next day. I'll have you sleep overnight, though, so... You're just hungry and sad. Hungry. Let's see. In terms of moonshine, we have no fuel. So that's gonna be a problem. Our vegetables are ready to be picked, by the way. So... Pavel. This is a problem when you have, like, too many people. You have to kind of tab along... Tab around for a bit longer than usual. 19, 18, oh, we're not going to have enough fire to actually get us over 20 by the end of the day. Not too happy about that, but it is what it is. Alrighty, so hey, we have this going on at the very least, so we do know that Katja's going to have to sleep in bed for today, so you know, the problem with that is that she is my big um, trading person. If I have her go out as tired, it won't be that big of a deal just because I'll probably just have her rest 10 hours the next day. And I want to go to the military outpost, but at the same time, what we're missing right now is the reinforced doors, correct? And, you know, possibly the guitar if I want to make that, but the reinforced door seems a little bit more important. Alrighty, here's what I'm going to do. Katya, you're going to sleep in bed. We're going to go to the sniper junction because you don't do any trading there to my knowledge. So, we're going to take Pavel to scavenge. He's hungry and sad. You're hungry and sad. 
Um, so that's fine. Bruno, you're gonna stay on guard. I'll have you sleep in bed, and I'll have you also sleep in bed. You'll scavenge, you'll stay on guard. That sounds pretty good. And we'll go to the sniper junction this time around. Alrighty, let's see here. Um, boy, Pavel, what do we want to take for the sniper junction? I'm not sure what to expect here. I've never been here before, ever. I just pretty much expect it to be dangerous, though. Sniper Junction already sounds like a really bad place to be at. So what if we... Maybe a shovel? Maybe there's an underground passage I could open up. So I'll take the shovel. I'll also even take the crowbar. And is that it? Is that all we want to take? Yeah. I think for now, at least for our first visit, let's kind of keep it a little bit minimal. We'll just take this and kind of see what um we need for the future scavenges here. That's about it. So let's go for it. Alrighty, so my big concern right now is the fact that I'm not sure what happens here at all. It used to be such a lively place, I miss those times. Alrighty, so Pavel, let's have you run over here and check this out. What do you want? Watch out, you don't want to get shot by the sniper. Oh yeah, I'd imagine so, my friend. Let me grab all this stuff over here, though. So you're fine with me just kind of scavenging by your ball sack, though, right? You're not going to be pissed about that. The bastards... Oh, I was just trying to read that game, thank you. The bastards in the hotel cover the whole damn street. Yeah? Alright, so how does this work? Is there gonna be like a gunshot to notify me there's... Oh, that's a gunshot. Alrighty. So let me run behind this tank. Is that gonna keep me... Oh, there's a gunshot right there. I get you. So as long as they stay behind cover, we should be okay. Alrighty, so we gotta time these shots then. I guess the next one is over here? Run, Pavel. Good thing you're the fast runner, man. Help, please help me. Alright, I'll help you in a second, dude. One sec, one second, dude. Don't talk too fast. I'm over here trying to grab stuff for myself, too, man. You know, it's not just for you. It's for me, too. A sniper shot me. You're lucky he didn't kill you. Yeah, you're telling me. That's why I'm a fast runner, bro. So, um, what's the problem here? I was going home with medicine for my boy when I was hit. Okay? You gotta talk a bit faster now that I'm done scavenging, though, by the way, because I'm on a time limit right now. I wanted to use the sewers, but someone blocked the entrance. Oh, that's pretty terrible of them. That, you mean that one down here, huh? Okay. So do I just go down there and open it for you? Please, can you do something about it? Alrighty. So if it's locked over here, it means I have to go around and open it from the other side? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, shit. Alrighty. Well, this is going to be problematic. So I guess I need to run behind this metro thing first. I heard a gunshot. Run, Pavel. Should have probably taken... Oh, <laughs> that was kind of cool. I should have probably taken a bulletproof, with, uh, bulletproof vest with me. Oh, that was really close. Run, my friend. Okay. There's a door right here. Can I storm in there and be fine? I guess we'll find out. We have no choice but to try it, right? Go. Get in. Get in? Okay. Hooey. Sniper's on it today. All right, there's a lot of noise over here. Now, are these rats? They look like rats. Uh, usually, the rat ones are just kind of scurrying about. There's a crowbar right here. This man wanted me to go down to the sewers and open the area for him, so I guess I'll do that just because maybe there's something in it for me if I do such a thing. I don't think I have to sneak around here, so we might as well at least run, because we're in a time limit, and again, we're doing kind of like a little bit of a side quest for this man. We'll grab everything over here, and let's just run through the sewers over here. Be careful not to step on, like, poop or, you know, other sewer waste. For all we know, the secret of the U started off over here, you know, which turned the turtles into what they are today. Uh, not the right time probably for it? Yeah, probably not. So, what are we looking for, number one? I think we need more components than we need wood. So, I'm down to leave this wood for the components right now. I think we had enough wood to make what we need to do. It's just the components we were missing. I think we are missing like over 30 to make the reinforced doors. So, um, because that, we could actually, no. Let me grab this. Do we need the electrical parts anymore? Probably, but I'm going to say no for now. This is the area this guy wanted me to unlock. So, so far, we're making the right choices. So I was at least... At least I saved us a little bit of time by going around, because by him saying the doors were locked, I'd imagine it would be locked from the other side. Alrighty, so this is opened up now. Let me pop this door open. Did I just hear him open the door? I, uh, you, I did. Or you did, anyway, I should say. You did hear me open the door, as in me, myself, and Pavel. Coming to ABC in the fall season, by the way, keep an eye on that. It's pretty much like the funniest show I've ever been a part of. Me, myself, and Pavel. You don't know how grateful I am? Come with me. I'll try to repay you somehow. I I'm coming with you. You're just the one standing around over here. Come on. Come on. I, I know you're shot, but you gotta have to speed it up a little bit here. Again, I need to be back home by 5 of a curfew. My mom gets really upset at me when I'm out too late. We're almost there. I just hope my boy is fine. Yeah, you know what? You'd probably get there faster if you just kept on walking. Yeah. There you go. 
Now, do I have to hoist you over these um, stairs, or are you going to be okay with that, my friend? Follow me, I have a flat nearby. Oh, okay. I know what a flat means. I have British friends. Alrighty, come on, man. Come on, where is it? Is it in here? Do you want me to open the door for you? I'll open it for you. Oh, you're going up the stairs. Alrighty. I think I will have to... I will have something for you. You think, or you will? Because I prefer you will have something for me other than I think. You have the key for this place? Because otherwise I can use the crowbar right here. Oh, okay, you do have the key. Jacob, daddy's here, and he's uh, not going anywhere. Is it Jacob or Jacob? You know, there's sometimes like different interpretations of that name. There's a box beneath the bed. Take as much as you need. Oh, alrighty. Well, thank you. Where is this bed? Right here? Oh, it's in here, probably. I don't want to think that what would have happened if it wasn't for you. Yeah, I know, man. I'm in the... I'm the Mother Teresa of Pargaron. Oh, my lord. You were hoarding jewelry like a motherfucker, weren't you? Alrighty, so I kind of want to take all that. That's going to require me leaving some wood behind. That's fine. You know what? He said take as much as I need, right? Or as much as I want, so... Need? I probably don't need all five of them. Want? I do want all five of them. So I'll leave you some wood. You know, at least you can make yourself some fires. We still have a little bit more time left. Now, here's a question. If I open this up forcefully, is that going to piss him off? I don't know. I know you don't like the taste, but yeah, you have to eat it. Alrighty, cool. He's over here talking to his son, so it's about time for us to amscray out of here. We only have two more hours, so let's be vigilant about that. If I loot this over here, is that going to be a problem? I don't think it should be. Fertilizer would be nice, but again, we're on a time limit here. We might have to come back here because there is more to check out over here, as you can see. I don't want to leave any components for that. Alrighty, let's run to the exit. And Pavel, I hope that you take the... yeah, good. <laughs> I was going to say, don't take the upper pad. It's suicide. Now, mind you, we're still not out of the woods yet. We still have to make it from here to the tank, and then from the tank to the exit. So we got to be careful with that. Oh, run to the exit. All right, we heard the gunshot. Run, 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 my friend. Run, run, run. Okay, I think we'll probably make it out of here fine. All righty, Pavel's back with one hour to spare. Good. Hey, we got a lot of good stuff too. I would have liked a little bit more components, as obviously, but um. We still got five jewelry pieces that we could trade with Frankel for a bit now. So next time Frankel's around, I'm going to be like, hey, you know what? It's getting very cold. That's not good whatsoever. All right, here's the snow. Here is the snow indeed. Oh, please don't get sick, guys. I know I didn't leave this over 20 degrees, but god damn it, cut me a break here. We've been raided as well. All righty. So, Pavel was searching. Someone tried to rob us, and it was a band of hardened robbery. But we managed to fend them off. Thankfully, we were up. We were all armed, none of us was wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything, we were able to defend ourselves. And we used up all of our ammunition. <laughs> you know what, I feel kind of good that I bought the bullets off of um, Franco now, because otherwise it could have been a little bit worse. So hey, good so far. Let's call an episode here. We went to the sniper junction, we were able to do a good deed, and get, you know, rewarded pretty well for it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it, if you did, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up, leave a like, the support does mean a lot. What are we doing next episode? I'm not sure yet. Well, probably, I want to check out the military outpost, but that is all dependent on how much we get done in the daytime next episode at base, and then we'll probably go from there. We want some components, though, because we want to get those reinforced doors as soon as possible now that the raids are getting a lot more heavy-handed in terms of defense. Either way, though, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.